Customer obsession, customer obsession, customer obsession, okay? Breathe it in. Breathe it out, customer obsession. Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, CG LaPriest, and I'm back with another sit down video. I have not done one of these in a while, but these do really well, and I never like doing these, but I'm back today with another video, and today we are talking about Amazon again, because Amazon is literally everywhere, right? Like, you're watching this video, and I'm sure you just ordered something off Amazon this week. I did too, friend. I did too, and it is okay. But yes, today we're talking about Amazon, specifically working in Amazon operations. Um, but before we do that, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for watching my video. If this is your first time here, I really appreciate you. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe if you like this video, and if you have been watching my videos, thank you so, 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 so very much. So anyway this video is going to be long longer than i typically like to do so we're just going to go ahead and get started a few months ago probably in june or july i could be making that up i don't know but i'm going to put the link below i made a video about working at um amazon and specifically working as an area manager and that video got a lot of hits so if you haven't seen that video please watch it i'm going to leave it below and i'm going to try and like pop it up somewhere on the screen but you know, your girl is like very basic right now. So it may not pop up on the screen, but for sure it's going to be in the description. So I did a video about working at Amazon as an area manager and the video did really well and people are still asking me questions and I wasn't expecting that. But that's good, you know, like, yay for me, right? I need to be responding to people, but I just, I. <sighs> I figured I would make another video and, you know, answer some of the questions, most commonly asked questions that were in the comment section. And hopefully this will help somebody who is considering Amazon and wants to know a little bit more about it. I mean, there's a lot of negative you see about Amazon, I'm sure. Uh, but that can be said with literally everything. So I'm just here to share my experience. This does not reflect the opinions and views of Amazon the business, the corporation, like it don't. This is just CG, okay? Lord, I thought I was done with that in the military, but apparently not. Again, because Jeff made us sign those NDAs, okay, baby? And we ain't saying nothing crazy because I like my job, <laughs> okay? Well, as I said, I am an area manager, but there could be several things that you can be doing working in operations, right? Um, I am an area manager in my position. I'm an L5. There's an L4 that is usually an area manager. There's also process assistants and ship clerks and uh, process guys, learning trainers, safety coordinators, and they all work in operations too, right? There's operations manager, there's a site lead, but operations is just what you need to make the day-to-day -day operations of Amazon work. That is what operations is. At least that's what it is to me. Now, if I'm wrong, one of y'all correct me in the um, comments, but don't drag me, okay? Don't do no dragging, all right? Again, as I said, this is CG's opinion, not Amazon. I just happen to work there, okay? So, again, I work in operations. Specifically, I am an area manager at a facility in Georgia. Um, and I've been with Amazon right now for a year and like three or four months, so not too long, but long enough to answer a few questions. If you work at Amazon, you know that feeling, like being with Amazon one year is like being with Amazon equivalent of five years. So, said all that to say, been here a little bit, but know a little bit about a lot, so I'm here to share that experience. So, first things first, if you are considering working at Amazon, you need to know when they say customer obsessed, they mean it, all right? Amazon means it. We mean it. It becomes a part of your life. Customer obsession, customer obsession. Who are your customers? Literally everyone. Like the people who shop at Amazon are your customers, but your people who work for you, they're your customers. You working for Amazon, you're a customer, right? Customer obsession is huge, right? So with that being said, like it's a people company. If you don't like people, if you don't like working with people, if people is just not your thing, I wouldn't suggest working here, especially not 
or if if people people are not your thing right like people are your thing but you don't want to work with people i would not suggest working in operations because you are working with people on top of people all day okay like i ugh, i work with a lot of people i work with a lot of people I work with a lot of people and it can be overwhelming at times. So just know that customer obsession is real. Talking to people, making sure they feel good, making sure your associates feel well, making sure that those packages get in and out like that is your primary job. That's at the forefront of everything. So if you're thinking about Amazon operations, you need to go ahead and be adapting that mindset. Customer obsession, customer obsession, customer obsession okay breathe it in <sighs> breathe it out customer obsession that leads me into my next thing right um one of the most commonly asked questions i got was the work schedule kind of two points i want to touch on right you need to be flexible if you're working in operations like you have to be you have to be you have to be because things change from day to day there's like a saying like every day is day one at amazon and that's not a big secret Jeff has said it like several times, every day is day one, and that is the truth. And that's kind of why I love this job because every day is a new day. I never take the same day home with me. So it's like, I don't have to take that day home with me, period, because every day is a new day. With that being said, that means you have to be flexible because things change. There is no set like, this is the plan to success. Like you have a plan, right? always have a plan and that's with anything that's with life in general however okay be flexible be flexible with your schedule be flexible with just life in general things happen be flexible um as i said earlier i've been with amazon a year already and i've already gone to a different site my work schedule alone within the first six months i worked Front half, back half, days, mid days, night. I, I worked every schedule, so flexibility. Now, some of that was by choice. Like, I just kept volunteering for things like, sure, I'll do this, and sure, I'll do that. And then I ended up screwing myself over because I ended up getting on a schedule where I had to go to work at 3 in the morning. So be flexible and watch how much you volunteer. That's just an extra bonus tip for you. Be flexible. That also brings me to schedules. So a lot of people in my last video asked me um, about schedules. Is it 10? Is it 12 hours? I think that depends on what type of center you work at, right? You can work at a sort center. You can work at a delivery station, a fulfillment center. And I think all the hours vary. However, I'm going to say expect to work between 10 to 12 hours. Um, you'll hear a lot of people say front half or back half. Front half is Sunday through Wednesday and back half is Wednesday through Saturday. So right now I'm currently working back half, um, but I'm familiar, very familiar with working front half. I worked front half for the first year pretty much that I was at Amazon. It wasn't until that I got to my new facility that I started working back half, but it's nice because you have your four days on and your three days off. And I, I love that. I do work back half and your schedule, your hours will depend on the hours that your facility is open. I had to pull my notebook really quick because I wanted to make sure I answered all of the questions that I saw in my other video, like I said, and also just throwing in a couple tips. I'm about to throw in a tip for y'all right now because you just need to know this. If you're gonna work in operations, right? I said earlier, um, every day is a day one, right? Every day is day one. You need to have quick problem solving skills. I saw a lot of people who said like, don't know what to expect um, or just started and I'm feeling overwhelmed. Problem solving, like quick problem solving. I always say that like the military didn't prepare me for Amazon, but it absolutely did. And one being like, I worked in the ICU before I started working in operations at Amazon. However, the quick thinking from the ICU, like that definitely has helped me in operations because I can, it ain't life or death here, right? It could be, hopefully it never is. However, it is not life or death like it would be in the ICU, but those quick, quick thinking skills, like being able to make quick decisions. I'm kind of good at that. I'm not gonna lie, like, 
Two, two. That's me to my own horn. I don't like to do that. I don't like to do that. However, in this case, I am because it has tremendously helped me. And I also say that to say working in operations, you're going to wear many hats, right? So you're going to need to make quick problem solving decisions. But that also means like you're taking on the role of not just operations, but you can be safety. You can be um, human resources. You know, some days you may be security if it's a real crazy day. Um, <laughs> You might even be transportation. Now, you won't be driving trucks, but you know, you might dibble and dabble in transportation. It just really depends. So that is why I said you have to be flexible, okay? You're gonna wear many hats and you just have to be able to problem solve quickly. If you are not a great problem solver or you're like, if you don't do well with stuff, if you don't do well with change, operations is not gonna be for you. Amazon is probably still for you because that's another thing I wanted to say. There's so many different ways to maneuver it within Amazon. Like I have not even scratched the surface, but I know there are so many jobs out there and I'm like, wow, I can really maneuver in whatever way I want to, but there are so many just opportunities, you know, different ways to move. So you're gonna wear many hats, but it will open up the doors, you know, to so many different avenues that you can travel through. Now, I did not say what type of facility I worked in. However, I do work in a warehouse, right? I've made that, that I said that on my other video. Um, warehouse life is different. It's very different. <laughs> so if you have not worked out, worked in a warehouse before, it is, it's different. It's different. It's different, <laughs> that's all I can say. I mean, it's a little ghetto, I'm not gonna lie. But it's fun. Again, you never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're gonna get and that's why it's so great. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. But I enjoy it because I'm never bored. I am never bored and you will never be bored either if that is where you're going. Typically for my building, um, the associates work four hour shifts. That was another question that was asked like, how long do the, the associates usually work? And they work four hour shifts. That's like their standard schedule, right? However, they can flex down, which is going like an hour below of what they're scheduled for. So if they're scheduled for four hours, we can flex them down to a three hour shift or we can flex them up into a one hour shift. Now, unfortunately, you are not told until you get there if it's gonna be a flex up or a flex down. However, you should be told pretty like early on shift if that's what happens. Um, also with that being said, so it's unfortunate that you usually don't know um, until you get there if it's a four or a five hour shift. And again, that just depends on planning, volume, all that good stuff that I'm not gonna deep dive into because one, it's probably against my NDA and two, like we ain't talking too much about work, right? This is just, <laughs> this is just the basics of what you wanna know if you are going into the field of operations. Um, However, we do try, we let associates know that when they start the job, like, hey, there's a possibility you're gonna flex up or flex down. So I always tell people like, just plan for five. If you know you have to work that day, plan for five because you know we can't go over five, right? So if you plan for five, if we flex down, you know, that's like perfect. If we stay where we are, that's perfect. And if we work five hours, well, that's good too because you had already planned for it, so. That's a little nugget for you area managers already out there. Just always tell them a higher number because nobody gets mad. Nobody's disappointed. Expectations aren't lowered. Everybody's happy sharing gems with you. And lastly, um, working in operations, I say take everything that you can, learn from everybody again because the opportunities for growth, I feel like are, are pretty endless. You gotta search for it, right? And that's with anything. You gotta do a little work with anything to get to where you really wanna be. However, I feel like with Amazon, the opportunities are there. And if you're starting out in operations and you don't wanna be there, that's fine. Learn what you can from it, you know, and use what you can from that job to propel you to the next level. 
I have a friend right now. She's working in like logistics, diversity and inclusion. And that's dope. She started starting in operations and now she's doing something that's her passion. So if you're starting in operations, don't feel like you are going to get like held there. You're going to get stuck there. You will only get stuck there if you allow yourself to get stuck there. And again, that's with anything. I am dropping nuggets today. Write that down. You will only get stuck there if you allow yourself to get stuck, right? So don't get stuck. Learn what you can, but then take the opportunity to learn what you can outside of operations. Learn what you can to get you or to take you to the next level that you want to go to. Another thing that I wanted to talk about quickly before this video is over is also work-life balance. Um, because that's one of the things when I was looking for stuff about operations and area manager and stuff like that for Amazon, it was basically like, it's terrible. There is none. Work-life balance don't exist. Yeah. And I'm like, that is so unfortunate because I want that, you know? <laughs> I didn't feel like I had one in the military. And I'm like, I definitely want one outside of the military. It does exist. It does exist. It, it exists. Because I promised myself, I'm never taking my work home with me. Now, every now and then, I have to take a sprinkle, a sprinkle of work home with me. However, I do my work at work. And I'm very detailed with my work at work. Because I don't want you calling me when I'm not at work. Now, when I promote and progress, we can talk. But as for right now, as for me in my house, don't call me. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, there's definitely an opportunity for work-life balance. You just have to be strategic. Do your work at work. You're busy at work, yes. Um, but when you get downtime, utilize your downtime. Like, don't make it real downtime. Make it to where you're doing your work and you got to stay extra. And when it's time to go, you can go, okay? Work-life balance. Do your work at work and do your life outside of work. And that's pretty much it, y'all. That's all I have for this video. Um, I know somebody asked, could I do a day in the life of like an area manager? And as much as I want to, I don't think I'm going to be able to just because of like, I feel like putting people's faces in my videos, especially in the warehouse setting and we're not supposed to have our phone on the warehouse floor and stuff like that. So I just don't want to do anything that violates privacy. I may see what I can do that won't make it so weird because I also don't want this to be like a, uh, this is the, the Amazon area manager. Like I'm not trying to be that person. However, I do think it would be interested in showing you a little bit. I might do like a, a vlog, a week, a week long vlog into like, what my job is, some things I do at work that just involves me and not anybody else. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do, but that's pretty much it. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them to the best of my abilities. But if you have any comments about working, please leave it below. Any advice, any tips you wanna share, please share with the people because they nervous. We were once nervous if you're working there now. So please share in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you really like this video. And just thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye.